Here we go. Okay. Prof intro, take one. Hello. If you're watching this, can you give it a second before I get yes. Sorry. Yes. Prof intro, take two. Hello. Why are you here and watching this? Do you have anything better to do? I'm Stormy. I'm from the Edwards School of Business. I'm a doctor of shopping. I train people to build nations. And that's about it. All right. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome, my fellow students, to the first ever episode of Meet the Teacher, a project developed by myself and your U of S campus newspaper. I am Michael Smith, a fourth year political studies major at the U of S. With me is David Stormy Williams, a professor here at the U of S Edwards School of Business. Professor Williams, thank you very much for being here. You're welcome. Let's get right into the question, shall we? Go ahead. Let's start with the professional background. So what would you say has been your areas of study or expertise? I don't have an air of expertise. I just like, I'm just two internet searches ahead of everyone else and I copy and paste. I would never claim to have an area of expertise, which is mine. It's just like, I've been doing this a little bit longer than other people. What, what did you study in as your undergraduate? Uh, I did a BSc in economics. Okay, uh, what was that? Cardiff. Okay, uh, and after that, where did you get your, your PhD? Ca of, Cardiff. Yeah, and, and what was that in? That was in international shopping. I'm a doctor, of shopping. doctor of shopping. Yeah. Interesting. Not really, no. Well, I was. It's it, it's not something that a, a lot of people, I don't think, would be. I guess well well versed in. So it's it's interesting to know that there there are experts in that field. But uh, it, it, it are those areas that you teach here, or have you kind of expanded beyond that? Expand beyond that. I teach. Well, you teach what you're told. So there's an introductory level. Okay. I still teach shopping and you know, retail marketing. So. So how long have you been teaching at the university? Too long, about 28 years. 28 years. Way too long. All of them good, huh? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, whatever I say. So getting into a bit more personal stuff, uh, let's go back to, let's say, undergraduate years. W what kind of student were you uh, attending? You, you said you got the nickname Stormy. Oh, it's lonely, sad, pathetic, really? uh, socially inept, just you know, like most people, yeah. <laughs> insecure. Like most yeah, people. Yeah, insecure. Did yeah. you often go to classes? Did you? Yeah, I did. There was yeah. different different system. You you went and you know there was my system was different. There was ten week terms and there was exams at the end of every year, like as in you know every June there wasn't like a lot of coursework. Yeah, did you uh, did you join any like campus clubs or stuff like that? A little bit, just for resume fodder, not a lot of general. There's a sense I should probably be doing something. But look, what, what kind of stuff were you involved? In? Oh, some silly student society and no offense intended it was yeah <laughs> and uh in, in terms of i guess uh studying did you tend to i guess procrastinate or were you really on top of your assignments oh i was not i was a no yeah i was a, not a nerd i uh i spent a lot of time studying because you know i didn't have that natural smarts or intelligence so i had to like put the time in I kind of should have balanced things a bit more in retrospect, you know, well, slacked off a bit. All right, and so then when did you decide that you wanted to teach? I didn't, I never really did. I didn't decide, it was decided for me. See, the, my, the, the great thing about where I am is like when you have no options at that time, you take the only one there. Mm -hmm. So I did my, did my degree, got that, and the only thing available at the end of that was a PhD. And the only thing you can do with a PhD in my field is really teach. And having finished that, the only tangible job off I had was to come here. And now I'm really here, and no one else is really going to employ me. So here I am. Well, it's yeah. Once you started down that, you, uh, that path, it just kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, it's incremental. You know, I don't know, no. There was no burning, overriding ambition. Hey, I know what I'm to do. I mean, it was still sort of a way to stay in school, was a way to delay making a decision I had to make and get a proper job. Okay, well, it's, I suppose this is, this is the, the path as, as, as far as you've gotten down it so far. You know, it's like, do I want a proper job? You know, this is okay. Yeah, well, yeah. I guess so long as you're, you're okay with it. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll see I'm okay, we'll see, yeah. Yeah, yeah. ask you again in, yeah. a, in a couple Did, of years yeah. or so. 28 years. Uh -huh. yeah. Coming back to the modern day, how would you describe your teaching style here at the university? My teaching style, uh, average. Mediocre, substandard. I always think, well, you know, my job is to make other people look good. If someone's going to be above average, someone's going to be below it. Uh, uh, getting through, efficient and effective. 
Uh, do you employ any particular techniques? Techniques. Do you have like a philosophy surrounding it? It's like if I do this, then they will learn better. Get for the class. Uh, <laughs> it's because it's too. We're sitting there. I have to get for it too. Uh, be a positive attitude. Uh, it's not the end of the world. There are worse places to be. And, uh, uh, do you use PowerPoint? Oh, I use PowerPoint. I'm a slave to PowerPoint. I use PowerPoint videos. Uh, speakers and things. Do you want a class discussion in your class, or do you just? There's never a lot. There's the illusion of discussion. There's never a lot of discussion. It's like, what is the only exam? Can we go now? <laughs> it's like a discussion. It's like yeah, it's like yeah. I, I wish I didn't know what you're talking. Is about. Is there a I deep do. ending yeah. knowledge and seeding nurture? No, it's like you know, are we done? Can we go? Yeah. Okay. Now, do you have a favorite class to teach? No. No. The ones I currently teach. Okay. Because there's less working doing the new one. All right. Well, I can, yeah. I can take that. Yeah. And uh, this one, uh, feel free to answer as in depth as you want. But are are there any problems with the current model of the university that you would like to see change or have any input on? Uh, it could give me more money, uh, more, more uh, pension. No, I'm just being joking. Give me more oh, paycheck, more yeah. no funding. Yeah. Uh, it's, it is what it is. It is, what it is. Where, where are we? Are you know? All right. Uh, let me expand on that. That's a big question. Yeah, yeah, no, it's probably the one of the biggest ones that I'll ask. The ask big you. one, there's no yeah. answer. Uh, could be worse, could be better. Could be worse, could, could be, be better. better. You know, I just, I just have my own area and viewpoint and my okay. discipline. And with that, I'm ready to get into the, the second section of your interview. Okay. You ready for it? I think so. Okay, so I discussed this a little with you over the email. You did. Uh, so what we're going to be doing here is going through some of the comments that you've received from the, on the website RateMyProf or rate, RateMyProfessor.com. Nothing too radical, but each one of these oh, come on. is a real. Well, each one of these is a real comment, but only some of them actually apply to you. Some okay. of them apply to other professors. So I'm going to go through each one, and I'd like you to guess which ones apply to you and which ones are fake. So which ones are real? Which ones are fake? You ready? Yep. All right. Uh, we'll start with some positive comments. Oh. The most enjoyment I have gotten out of a university class. Come equipped with a dry sense of humor and an open mind and you'll do great. Two midterms, a short individual paper, and a non-cumulative final. Tests are based off lectures and slides. Not too difficult. Follow his guidelines closely for the paper. Very easy 80 plus. That's true. That's true? Yeah. Yes, it is. You're right. I know I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was yeah, it's always true. I yeah. was wondering if people were going to yeah. bother going online. All right. What would we do anyway? You know what I mean? Next one. Great teacher. His classes are very interesting with slideshows and visuals. Course material is fairly easy, but exams are a little tougher. like to see him coming in every day with a different funny shirt on. That's true. That's true. You're correct. Last one. I didn't write it. <laughs> he is an amazing instructor. He is precise and to the point. The best professor I've ever had would definitely like to take his other courses. David is so inspiring. Ah, oh, that's true. That one is actually fake. Oh, that, one. that one is for a another professor, first name David, from Harvard University. Oh, actually. God, that's pretty close. Okay, go on. All right, now on to the negative stuff. Oh, my ego, hey, go on. For it? Oh, sure. All right, first one. Class is very long, and PowerPoints are ridiculous. 300 plus slides of crap. Oh, yeah. Going to class was painful. He is hard to understand and is very unclear with his expectations. He does not care for his students, and it shows when you try to approach him. That's me. That's true. That one is actually real. Yeah. How are you feeling so far? You Fine. Good? It's life. Yeah, All good. Right. Uh, next one. Worst prof ever. Yes. Exclamation it's point. true. I really think I should be refunded what I've paid for this class. Textbook and lecture won't help much for homework and exams. I relied on lectures uh, on the YouTube and study materials from the Google. All capitalized. If you have to take this course, make sure you have access to Google and YouTube. Otherwise, you will fail. That's really fake. Good. That one is fake. Yeah. Right on. Just do not take the class with this professor thank goodness i did very well despite his vague expectations and unprofessional way of teaching but many other classmates were not so lucky the only way i did so well was because of my excellent memory plus 95 percent in medical terminology good if you don't have this ability you will struggle avoid that's true that's true that one is true but if it makes you feel any better that one had about six times more people who said they didn't find it that's useful. okay you know Sheldon Cooper that's fine <laughs> all right so the, the rating system is out of five on rate my prof what do you believe your overall rating would be uh, I don't believe I, well, I know uh, it depends on identity oh it's about three it's about three 
Yeah, it is sitting at 2.8 out of 5 right That's average. That's a C. Yeah. I told you it was average. I, I, yeah, it's, you it's, know? It's that's good. That's, that's good. What is very impressive is you're actually sitting at an 80% for would take again. Oh, uh, that's, no, that's probably retakes. Your level of difficulty, uh, 3.4 out of 5. Oh, average. So, so you're 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 around there, and for mm. tags you have uh, the top three are participation matters, hilarious, and tough grader. That's me. So do you think this is a pretty accurate reflection of kind of your your teaching style there? You have any comments? On no, that? you've got such a diverse crowd, and it's like all the comments that people put down. There's you know it's a hint of grain of truth in all of them. You know I wouldn't say they're a representative or you know, get carried away with the good or the bad. It's all different things, different people. Well, thank you very much for sitting. You're welcome. We have one final question. Okay. I'll let you go. Could you give one to three tips, anywhere in between there, to students to help improve their university experience and succeed both inside and outside of your class? Uh, C's get degrees. So, I mean, uh, make the most of it. C's get degrees. It's up to you if you want. You know, it's, you're all gonna That's about it. All right. Yeah. Well. Thank you very much for sitting down with us. This has been the first ever installment of Meet the Teacher, U of S, and I thank you very much uh, for sitting down and allowing me to, uh, to berate you. Inspire you, for, yes, inspire you, yeah. motivate you. And for allowing students to get to know you better. Uh, thank you for anyone watching. If there is a prof that you Anyone like to watching, see, anyone? Yeah, if you'd like to see anyone on Meet the Teacher, uh, please feel free to contact us at- uh, Do you want me to say, what's the number? Chief on Twitter. Uh, until next time, get off the internet and do your assignments. And come to class. Yeah, <laughs> and come to class.